Copern Bible, Book 2, Gleanings, Chapter 15, Verse 55. All too often, humanity comes to God in whispers and muttering hypocrisy. God is with you. In fact, I maintain He is within you. So, He is all too aware of the hypocrisy, and He is saddened by those smiling to His face and ignoring Him once out of His presence. He is not fooled nor impressed. Worse, your soul is warped with each lie or action you take that you know deep down is wrong. Actions have consequences, even when you get the outcome you want at the moment. GLN 1555 Well do I know the hearts of men. They ever seek to deceive themselves. They clearly see the errors and follies of others, but are blind to their own. There are those whose idea of righteousness is mumbled words and repetitious prayers. Their souls are warped with selfish desires, and their heaven is the fulfillment of these. Their prayers are pleas for pleasure or power, for freedom from the things which develop the spirit. The lovers of pleasure and power delight in following the path of their own inclinations. They build a creed of their own desires. They have neither courage nor the will to follow a sterner and truer path. Avoid the companionship of such as these, setting your heart upon the task in hand rather than the reward. I am the knower, and I am the rewarder. All too often, organized religion offers a way to remove your sins. Leaders offer bribes to be given to them, and a few empty words is all to be absolved of the sin. All three religions kill in his name. Yet why would God endorse killing those he caused to be created? You might feel better here because leaders tell you it's okay, but your logic tells you what makes no sense. Yet you cling to the lie so you feel better and can do what you desire and all you must do is ask forgiveness. Words spoken without meaning have no value and only constantly trying to do right, even if you fall short, is all God ever asks. The damage is not undone, but he takes into context what was your intent.